Good morning and jai hind children I welcome you all in today's live class of biology Children we are discussing the chapter transportation of materials in plants and animals is it and previous class I have explained all the topics of the chapter so today I am going to discuss the oral questions third okay of the book oral question third and this oral question third we have the question number 1 removal of all kind of waste from the body is included under excretion do you agree give reason so children please give the answer very carefully that removal of all kind of waste from the body is included under excretion so what may be the answer yes it is not the excretion as removal of all kind of waste so you can say that no i do not agree because removal of waste like carbon dioxide is included under respiration okay and again the removal of waste food that is mainly undigested food it is included under digestion okay so removal of what excretory products like the urine are the yes that is sweating is termed as excretion and the removal of undigested food it is comes under the digestion and the removal of the gas that is carbon dioxide gas it comes under respiration get it children now the question number 2 is the kidneys filter waste from the blood so which structure in the kidneys act as filtering units you have to name that structure in the kidney which is found there which act as a filtering unit so the name of that structure is nephrons is it children we have discussed the structure of nephron also in the chapter yes so the nephron in the kidneys act as a filtering units okay now the question number 3 is all kind of animals have a special excretory organs do you agree give reason is it children so that answer is no because the lower animals which are very simple they do not have any special excretory organs is it and in these animals the waste products are excreted by the process of diffusion through the body surface so only the yes only the higher animals have the excretory organs and the lower animals they does not have any special excretory organs they remove their all kind of waste by the process of diffusion is it now the question number 4 is tests show that the urine is of a patient contains sugar so what disease is the patient suffering from children remember that if the sugar is examined in the urine of a patient so what may be the possibility that person is suffering from the disease it is diabetes is it because in diabetes disease the sugar level get increases and that sugar comes through the urine so when the test of urine or urine examination takes place so that time it is observed that the sugar is present in the urine and that indicates the patient is suffering from diabetes get it children so these all are the oral questions third okay now after the oral questions third there is a concept map given in the chapter and this concept map help us to summarize the overall chapter so i want to explain this concept map also so please come to the concept map of the chapter okay children so the concept map indicates for what the different topics which we have explained in the chapter okay so 
I will start this from the the main topic is transportation of materials. This is our chapter also, and we have mainly discussed how the materials get transported in living organism. So we have categorized this transportation in two category. Is it that first one in plants and second one in animals? So this transportation of material can be divided in plants. And in animals. Okay, children. Now come to the first, the plants. In plants, how these materials get transported? So mainly there are two ways of transportation of materials in plants. The first one, the way by which water and minerals transported, and the second by which food is transported. So we can categorize it in two categories. That is the first one, water and minerals. Okay. And the second one, food. So how they are getting transported? So simply the first one, water and minerals transported by Yes, by the process osmosis through the root hairs. So we can say that the water and minerals in the plant's body transported through through root hairs. Okay, by the process. Osmosis. Get it, children? And the food is transported through which process? Yes, through the process translocation. Get it, children? So the food transported by the method translocation and the water and mineral transported by the osmosis process. So this one is the transportation of materials in plants. Now come to the next transportation of material in animals. Get it children? So in animals, as we know that there are some lower animals and some higher animals. So in case of lower animals, like unicellular animals, okay, this transportation takes place by Diffusion. How this takes place in unicellular animals are lower animals by diffusion process. Okay? And in higher animals like humans, and other higher animals. They have the two different systems in the body for the transportation of substances. And the first system is excretory system. So what is the name of that system is of children? It is excretory system. Okay, and this excretory system is responsible for the removal of the waste material from the body. Okay, so this excretory system again get divided in two different parts that is the urinary system okay and through this urinary system what is going to remove urine. And the second one 
through skin and through the skin the sweat is going to remove okay children so these are the two different excretory system of our body urinary system through which urine is removed out and through skin sweat is removed now this urinary system in humans is consist of four different organs are four different parts and those four parts are the first part is kidney second one is ureters third part by which the urinary system is made up of that is urinary bladder and the fourth part is urethra get it children so these are the four different parts by which the urinary system is made up of the kidneys ureters urinary bladder and urethra get it so this one is known as excretory system okay now the another system which is found in humans and other higher animals is the circulatory system get it children so the second system is circulatory system okay and this circulatory system consists of three different parts are three different types of substances so this circulatory system consist of the first one blood the second part is blood vessel and the fourth one is heart okay children so these are the three different parts by which the circulatory system is consist of get it now again this blood is consist of four different types of substances okay so the four different parts are there of our blood and the blood vessels are so all of three types get it so i'm going to erase that to explain the yes circulatory system chilen circulatory system is consist of as i have told the three different parts the first one is blood second one is blood vessels and the third one is heart is it now the blood is consist of four different substances first one is red blood cells okay second one is white blood cells third one is platelets So these are the four different parts of the blood. Okay, so you can say that the blood is consist of red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, and 
plasma. Now come to the blood vessels. There are three types of blood vessels. The first one is arteries. Second one, veins. And the third one is capillaries. Okay, children. So these are the three different types of blood vessels. Through arteries, mainly the pure blood or oxygenated blood is going to flow. Through veins, the deoxygenated blood is flowing, and capillaries are the very fine blood vessels. Okay. Now, our heart. It is having two different parts. The first one is auricles. And the second part is known as ventricle. Get it, children? So this one is a complete concept map of the chapter, which we have discussed in the chapter. Get it? And I hope that you understood about these all topics of the chapter. Get it, children? Now, after the concept map, I'm going to start. The discussion of book exercise. exercise and in the book exercise the first question you have the multiple choice question that is choose the most appropriate answer okay children choose the most appropriate answer Get it? Now come to the first question. The first question is during transpiration, water is lost from the plant in the form of and the options which are given are water vapor, second liquid, third hydrogen and oxygen gas and the fourth steam. So what may be the correct answer children? Again, I'm going to repeat the question. During transpiration, water is lost from the plant in the form. So in which form water lost? Yes, it is lost in the form of water vapor. So the correct answer will be E. Now, come to the question number two. The process of transportation of glucose in a plant is called Okay, understood? The process of transportation of glucose in a plant is called and the options, the first one, transpiration, second option, respiration, third option, osmosis and the fourth option, translocation. So what is the name of the process, children? Yes, the process is translocation by which the glucose or food is going to transport it. So the correct option will be D. Okay, now the question number three. The thinnest blood vessel in the human body are thinnest blood vessel. Children, there are three kind of blood vessels now: arteries, veins, and capillaries. So, out of these three, which one is the thinnest one? Yes, the thinnest one is capillaries. So the options are given A, arteries, B, veins, C, capillaries and the D, any of these. So your correct answer will be C. Now, the question number four is, which of these is responsible for blood clotting? Children, blood get clotted. Is it? You must have seen that when we get wound any time, so the blood flow there, but after some time, the blood get clotted on that place. And this clotting of the blood occurs because of the platelets. So the options are given red blood cells, white blood cells, hemoglobin, platelets. So the correct option will be D, platelets. 
Now, the question number five. When you feel your pulse, children, we have discussed about the pulse and the heartbeat in the chapter, is it? So, in the question, it's given when you feel your pulse, what you actually feel is blood rushing through the. So, at the time to feel the pulse, we feel that the blood rushing through the what? Through the arteries or through the veins or through it is capillaries. So the options are given the same. The option A arteries, B veins, C capillaries and the D all of these. So children simply the answer will be arteries. When the blood flow through the arteries and when we feel that flow of the blood, so that is known as pulse. Okay? So the correct option will be A. Now, the question number 6. And the question is, the blood cells that protect the body from diseases are, which kind of blood cells protects our body from diseases? And the options are given, the first option, RBC, red blood cells. Second option, WBC, that is white blood cells. Third option, blood platelets. And the fourth one, all of these. So what is the correct answer, children? Which kind of cells protects? Yes, it is WBC or white blood cells. Okay, that is why they are known as fighters cells of the body. So the correct option will be B. Now, the question number 7 and the question is, the device used to hear the heartbeat is called a by which device we can hear the heartbeat? The options are given the first one, thermometer, second one, stethoscope, third one, spignomanometer, and the fourth one, microscope. So what is the name of that device, children, by which we can hear the heartbeat? Yes, it is stethoscope, which doctors uses to find out the, or to know the rate of heartbeat. Okay, so the option B will be Correct. Now, come to the question number 8. And the question is, the loss of water through the stomata of leaves is called. When the water gets lost through the stomata of the leaves. So, this loss of water is known as what? The options, first, wilting, second, translocation, third, transpiration, and the fourth, transportation. So what will be the correct answer children? This loss of water through the leaves of stomata is known as transpiration. Yes. So the correct option will be C. Now come to the question number 9. In the human urinary system, which of these in your opinion is the most important organ? The urinary system of humans we have explained with the help of diagram, is it? So here it's given that which one is most important organ? And the options are given first kidneys, second ureters, fourth urinary bladder and next urethra. So out of these four options, which one is the important organ of urinary system? So children, the important organ is the kidney because it is going to filter the blood and removes the waste material in the form of urine. Okay, so the option A will be correct. Now, the question number 10. Which of the following are the tiny filtering units of the kidneys? The kidneys are made up of thousands, more than thousands of the small filtering units. So here you have to find out the name of those filtering units and the options are given A. Ureters, B. Urethra, C. Nephrons and the D. Bladder. So what is the name of those units children? Yes, it is nephrons. So you can say that the kidneys are made up of numbers of small units that is known as nephrons. Okay, and the correct answer will be C. Okay, so these all are the questions in which we have chosen the correct option. So these all are the multiple choice questions who have the correct answers.
given you. Get it, children? And I hope that you understood that how we can find out the correct option out of given four different answers. Okay? Now, after that, we will discuss the next exercise of the book that is very short answer type question. Okay, children? very short answer questions and uh, you will give here the answer just in one word get it so come to the first question number one is transportation of nutrients in unicellular organisms occurs by children here you have to write down the name of the process by which the transportation of nutrients in unicellular organisms are going to occur so remember that by which process it's going to occur as the unicellular organism does not have the different systems in their body like urinary system, excretory system, circulatory system and all. Okay, so most of the processes takes place by the diffusion process. Okay, so the correct answer will be diffusion. Now, question number two, through which process is water and dissolved minerals, salts, transported from the roots to other parts of the plant? Children, please understood the question first. Here you have to name the process, okay, by which what happened? The water and dissolved mineral salts transported from the roots to other parts of the plant. So what is the name of that process? It is known as ascent of sap. Okay. What is the name of this process, children? Ascent of sap. Yes. This sap word indicate here for those substances which transported in the plant body in liquid form with water. Dissolved minerals, dissolved salts and all. So that dissolved substance or that liquid substance or solution is known as sap. And the movement of this sap in the water. So the name of the process is given here. Ascent of sap. Get it? Now come to the question number 3. And the question is. Which tissue is involved in transportation of food in plants? Is it children understood the question? You have to write down the name of tissue which involved in transportation of food. So for transportation of substances, plant have the two tissues. Is it? Xylem tissues and phloem tissues. And the xylem tissues are responsible for transportation of water and dissolved substances. And the phloem tissues are responsible for the movement of food or glucose. So here the answer will be phloem tissues. Okay, children, understood the answer? Now, come to the question number four. And the question is, which tissue is responsible for the transportation of materials in the human body? As in plants, the phloem tissues and xylem tissues are responsible for transportation of materials. But in case of human body, which tissue? You have to name the tissue which is responsible for transportation of materials. So, what will be the correct answer, children? Yes, the name of that tissue is blood. So, the blood is a kind of tissue which is found in the body of humans through which the different substances transported. Now, come to the question number 5. In the heart, which chamber have thicker walls? The auricles or the ventricles? Children, remember the structure of heart that we have explained. It have the four different chambers, is it? 
the two upper chambers are known as auricles and two lower chambers are known as ventricles understood and the left side auricles and ventricles are known as left auricle and left ventricle and the right side of auricles and ventricles are known as right auricle and right ventricle so here in the question it's given that which chamber have thicker walls auricles or ventricles so children the thicker walls are found in ventricles because they have to pump the blood to all the parts of the body so that is why their walls are thick as compared to auricles so the correct answer will be ventricles get children so i hope that you understood these all answers okay and rest of the answers i will discuss in next class okay children so thank you and have a nice day children